Okay, and this is the board my characters arrive in. And it's a pretty large board. I uh, decided to go for a, a larger uh, area. And um, this is the new mat that I made that I'm using. So here we have a forest edge. We have a like muddy pool. It looks like right in the middle there. Okay. Um, so there's a big muddy pool there. And then there's all this spider webbing. Because of course this is the layer of a spider. Uh, we have some ruins here. And that was the result of a roll. So this is in a, a ruined area. And we have forest edges all around you know forest all around the edges here and there is my enemy the giant spider and i'll have a video uh next time how i made the giant spider all right so let's get going to turn one that was the board for this encounter all right so first thing i'm gonna roll my activation rolls for turn one to see who activates in the quick phase who activates in the uh, slow phase. There is no normal phase in this game because spiders are considered monsters. So this is kind of a special encounter. All right, so everything above, everything above a two is removed. So that means most of these dice. So only one character gets to act in the quick phase. So the... Uh, Action is going to go to Leofric, who is my avatar. And uh, let's see how much he moves. A speed of four. And um, he has full armor. So cannot dash if holding a shield. He's not holding a shield despite the, the fact that his figure does have a shield. I will give him a shield eventually so he can dash so he's gonna dash four so that's six inch move and he moves up the board all right so alva is gonna move next and she has her bow so she wants to be able to shoot she can only move two inches okay she can't move more than two inches if she wants to shoot so that's just gonna put her there Still gives her a uh, line of sight to the spider over there. Um, the spider is within her 24 inch range. And uh, spider has size, so that gives the hit a plus one. Uh, okay, and she has a combat skill of one, so that's actually a plus two. So to hit the spider, I needed fives, but the roll gets a plus two because of the spider size. And because her combat skill is one. So uh, she now rolls a six. And that is her a hit. So uh, now we have to roll over the armor of the spider. It's armor's two. And she doesn't get any other bonuses for that. So the arrow is going to hit. Let's see if I can pass its armor on a two or over. She rolls a three. She does not get any other rolls. So I need a four over to injure the thing and take away a monster point. It has four monster points. So that's basically like uh, like hit points. Four. Yes, indeed. Good job, Alva. I'm going to place a red dice uh, and show the three. Okay. And so that red dice is going to stick to the spider. Uh, that's how many monster points it has left. And uh, now I'm going to continue with the slow phase. A little chicken knight, a crit. I'm saying that he is a dwarf. He's a very young dwarf. With some cool armor there. He has a little chicken on his helmet. So little crit uh, has a speed of three as a result of being a dwarf. Same rules apply to him. He can he can dash if he wants to. And I think I am going to give him a dash. Going to move him right up the road. In between the large boulders. And that's where little crit 
bravely moves towards the road. Alright, so that he is done. Continuing with the slow phase. Now this guy here has a self bow. I, I think that's more like a like a little uh wrist bow or something like that. Um I don't know, it's it's a it's a small bow. So it has an 18 inch range. I'm gonna give him a dash. He's gonna dash. That moves him six inches up the table. And he stops there. And everybody's moving up, but we're being very cautious. And last but not least is Boromir. Oh no, that's not Boromir. Sorry. Uh his figure is Boromir. <laughs> That is actually uh, Arthur. All right. So Arthur is a hopeful use, youth. He's also going to dash. Could have given him an extra inch because he's wearing light armor. There's a lot of little things to remember uh, with this game. All right. So that is the end of the uh, phase. We were in the slow phase. Now moving on to the monster phase. Or is the nearest target regardless of armor. So it moves six. And I use the front wires, the front legs, to measure the distance without a base. So it moves right up the board, six inches, and stands there. Ooh. Alrighty. Will our heroes do it? Of course they will. Alright. So let me put his little wound dice there, because he does have three monster points left. Moving on. Moving on. To turn number two of this fight. Alright, and this is just giving you a view of what's going on. Alright, let's let's uh, continue. This is now turn two. Starting the cycle all over again. Alright, so uh, turn two, quick phase. I quit. Yeah, we got to determine who's moving in the quick phase. So all the dice have been rolled. Anything over a two goes away. There's a three, a four, a three. And everything else is capped. So, yeah, everybody gets to move in the quick phase. That's very good. And uh, the highest agility in my group is two, and that's why I'm doing this. So, hopefully at the best angle I can to document the combat. All right. I'm going to give Leo Frick the first one. And Leofric, I have five story points, by the way, and this game gives you a lot of freedom of uh, coming up with a good situation for using the story point and then, um, you know, uh, changing an outcome. Also, I have will, which I can use to change roles and whatnot. Spider has terror, so that's going to be a problem. So... He is going to charge, or go into combat, rather. All right, so that's uh, that's within definitely his four-inch move. Um, and now he can attack. So I'm just going to turn spider. And they don't have to touch base to base. As long as they are within an inch of each other, combat can proceed. So he is the attacker. However, he has to roll two dice. Add his combat skill of one, ye, because of terror. Right, he rolled a five, six, seven, a five and a two, so that's a seven, plus one is eight. Would be frightened of a big spider like that, he's pretty big. All right, so uh, he does get to attack, so now... He becomes the attacker in the first exchange of the combat. He rolls one dice. Spider rolls a, a black dice. He's going to roll the white dice. His combat is one. Spider's combat is a two. Will he win it? Ah, yes. Spider rolls a one. Plus two is three. And Leofric rolls a four. Plus one is five. Leofric has won the combat. So he's going to be able to strike a blow. So 1d6 versus armor. The spider armor is a 2. Add a plus 1 because I have a bastard sword. Okay, so he rolls. Come on. 
He rolls a six, and yes, plus one is seven. So, correction, the plus one from the Bastard Sword is given uh, compared to the roll of the Toughness. It's given during the Toughness roll. So, since I gave it to him in the Armor roll, I'm going to forego that. So, Toughness four to do another point, a uh, monster point of damage. He rolls a two. Ofric remains the attacker in the final exchange. Uh, and the spider is the defender. So we're going to roll again. Same exact thing. My combat of one. Spider's combat of two. Add it to the rolls. Black dice is the spider. Oh, and it is an even number. The defender retreats one inch and then end the melee. All right, so that's not too bad. So uh, we're going to move it another inch back. Okay, and the me melee ends. All right, so uh, that's it. That combat is over. Um, and now I'm going to proceed to give the rest of my action dice, and I had several, to the warband. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, Give one to uh, this guy here with the self bow, and that is Godwin. Uh, Godwin's going to take an action. He's not going to move, however. He's just going to fire the bow, so he's not going to move. He's going to fire the self bow. Uh, it has a range of 18 inches, and this spider is well within 6 inches. Just make sure here. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, he rolls threes to hit. And this is a missile attack. So his combat skill is a zero. So nothing added to the dice. He rolled a six. He rolls a six. All right. So that's Godwin's roll. So he does score a hit on the spider from range. All right. So now moving on. And he rolls a one. So no go on this guy. So Spider retains his uh, health there. And that's bad. Okay, so next dice is going to go to Pistol Lady, Brina. Okay, and she gets to act in the quick phase as well. She is going to just move. She can only shoot that pistol once per encounter so that's it once she shoots it now she can't use it again it does have plus one okay so both armor and yeah i always confuse those it's both armor and toughness for the pistol they get the plus one so uh she's gonna let me see i she within the six inches measuring to the front leg of a spider Yep, yep, she's within the six inches, so she's going to take the three, and she's going to fire that pistol. She rolls threes. Um, she rolled a five, and her combat score was a one, so it doesn't matter. Oh, zero, sorry. It doesn't matter. I, I still hit. So I hit, and now the armor roll, and she needs a two or over. She gets a plus one. So really. Okay. So she does roll a one. A one plus one is a two. So she uh, penetrates the armor. Let's see. Toughness four. She has a plus one. She rolled a six. Plus one is seven. And the spider takes another monster point. It is now down to two monster points. Good job, girl. All right, so it seems like the females are doing very good. She cannot use that pistol again. She will have to uh, pull a weapon from the stash, uh, a short a sword. Standard sword is what I have. So she's going to equip herself with that in the next turn. All right. Um, let us move. Sorry, I got to clean these out or I'm going to get all confused. So, let's do the next character. Um, 
very nice to be able to move in the quick phase. I'm going to give it to Alva. Alva did very well last turn. And Alva is my bow woman. And she's going to move another two inches just to make sure she's within that six inch range. I think she will be. So two inches, which is the limit to move and still be able to fire a weapon. She goes instinctively behind the rock as an archer would. Give her her little activation. She is going to take a shot at the giant spider. You can just see her head there in the foreground. So she's going to hit on threes. Whoop, sorry, wrong dice. Keep doing that. She rolls a two plus her combat, which is, I believe, zero. Okay, so uh, she misses. And now the next dice goes to someone else. This is the last dice of the quick phase. Um, I'm going to give it to him. Well, he's got to roll the terror thing anyway. So let's see. Uh, he is going to move. And to the first leg there of the spider, there is four inches. So he doesn't have to be touching base to base anyway. So he's going to move. He rushes in. All brave with no armor. Um, yeah. It's not very good. All right. He has a standard weapon. He's a hopeful youth. Uh, combat zero. All right. So get his white dice, get the spider. The spider has combat two. I am the attacker in this first exchange. God damn it. And I rolled two ones. Ugh. Ah, and if a double one is rolled, the character flees. So scratch that. <laughs> he goes up all brave. Uh, he rolls double ones on his terror roll. So he goes up all, and then once he's up against the spider, as it turns towards him, he screams and flees. Ah! So he's out of the picture. Oh, man, that sucks. All right. Sucks, sucks, sucks. All right. So giant spider just had to look at him with those orbs for eyes. Oh, but we don't have a normal phase. Uh, there are no other enemies, so... Basically, we're going to go to the slow phase, and I got two characters to move. Little Dwarf. Now, he has militia armor, so he has a plus one dash, but he can't, if he, if he dashes, he can't attack. Oh, well, that's right. The spider's within three inches. And let's roll that terror roll first. A six and a three. So, yes, he passes his terror roll and manages to strike the spider. So, now, he has combat zero. Spider has... I'm just going to turn the spider a little bit. Now, spider's going to be facing him. God damn it. The spider wins. All right. Um, that's not good for me. So, I have to avoid harm now because he won. Uh, toughness three, so he needs a three or over. Spider rolls a damn six. Could you believe that? So I went to attack him. Uh, my attack missed. Uh, the swing did not connect. Spider turns around, nips at me, tries to evade the blow. So I'm going to use a story point to re-roll the uh, toughness roll and if the spider gets it this time then that's it he's out of the game so one story point and the spider re-rolls a six again so that is it uh, poor poor young dwarf well he's out of the picture no story point can save him now he is out of the picture so just as he tried to dodge those big ass jaws catch him lost two heroes so far that's not good three heroes actually so 
Not good, not good. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, if I lose more guys, I may have to run away. It happens. All right, so and this guy is not supposed to be close to him, so I'm going to move them. Um, let's roll. Turn three, combat uh, activation rolls. Quick phase, let's see who gets to activate. Crazy, the one monster is just, monsters are really tough. My guys thought they could handle a monster, yeah, that's, uh, well, he has two monster points left, let's see what happens. I rolled high, only two guys get to activate in the quick phase. Alrighty, two guys get to activate, so I'm going to give my avatar... And I'm also going to give um, my archer, my longbow woman. So, uh, let's give it to Lee. Um, no, not Leo Frick. Let her shoot first. Um, she is going to shoot. And she is within six inches. She also has a clear line of sight. And Alva has a combat of one. She is also my retainer, so she won't run away very easily. As long as she's within six inches of him. All right. And I don't roll morale because monsters, uh, they ignore morale. It means nothing to them. So if this was a normal enemy, I would be rolling morale anytime there was a casualty in the enemy. And maybe that'll have some runaway, but not in this case. All right. She rolls a six. She needed threes. So yes, she scores a hit. She's going to roll over the armor, no bonuses. Uh, the armor is a two. She rolls a three, so she penetrates the armor. And last is harm. She needs a four. Um, she has a will of two. Hmm. Okay. She could have used a will point last turn and, and take a shot even in the enemy turn. That's pretty cool. All right. Um... She rolls a five. Great. So uh, her arrow connects. Um, and oh, by the way, yeah, I forgot. He has a, because of size, it was a plus one. Anyway, he is down to one monster point. Yeah, we can do this. Once that monster point is zero, the spider is slain. So next in the quick phase is my dude. He moves in, charges in. He actually didn't have to because you can be an inch away. I keep forgetting that. Um, so melee attack, but first he has to roll a terror roll. And I didn't roll a terror roll for her because it was a missile attack. I'm only doing the terror roll for combat, melee combat. So two dice for him. Let's see, he needs an 8, and he adds his, he only has combat 1. I may have to use another story point. I'm down to 4 story points, by the way, out of 5. 7, and plus 1 is 8, so he just barely makes it, so yes, he can attack. And I roll, uh... He has a plus one. Here is the uh, combat attack, the combat skill. Spider has plus two, and Spider wins the attack. Force the Spider to re-roll. And the Spider rolls a three and still beats him because it's three plus two is five. Two plus one is three. Spider still wins regardless of the story point, and I just lose a story point. All right. This now ends the melee, because we both had even. I get pushed back an inch, and uh, Spider remains in place, and the melee has ended after two exchanges. All right. Um, hmm. All right, it is now the slow phase. Uh, I'm going to move... She's only going to move uh, her speed, which is four inches, and then 
she uses a non-combat action to pull out a sword from the stash. She now has a sword. She no longer has a pistol. You can only shoot it once. All right. And now Dwarf is going to dash. Um, he is going to move his five inches. Boop. And that puts him closer to Leofric. So we're staying together. And last, but not least, is this guy here. So he's just going to take a shot. He's going to forego movement. He hits on threes thanks to the range and the clear line of sight and um, the fact that he is within six inches of the target. So he hits on threes and he has plus one due to the spider size. He rolled a three plus one is four. And uh, yes, uh, he hit the spider. So now it is an armor roll. It, he rolls a two. The armor is two. Target is knocked back one inch and stunned. Uh, he is stunned. So spider has no particular effect because it was stunned out of melee. Uh, stunned affects mostly the melee. It, it affects the exchanges. So uh, it is now, I moved all the characters. It is now Spider's turn. The closest enemy, it's either Brina or Leofric. Uh, we're going to roll a d6. One through three, Leofric gets attacked. And I rolled a four, so it's going to be Brina. Um, spider just charges within an inch of her what i'm gonna do is when she becomes the attacker she is gonna roll a terror roll um so for now spider uh, attacks plus two to its uh, combat plus one for brina oh sorry plus zero damn it spider rolls a six plus two uh brina rolled a four i am getting my ass kicked um, yeah. And it rolled a one. Armor is light. Yeah, so it, yeah, the spider will hit. So it's, her armor is penetrated. It doesn't have to worry about her armor. Her toughness is three, so it needs threes. And it has venom, so any character that is wounded by it is a casualty instead. Spider rolls a two. Does not wound her, thankfully. So, uh, it is below her toughness, so she is stunned. Okay. That kind of sucks. So, I want to put a stun marker on her, but at least she's not dead. Um, so, she becomes the defender. So, she's still the defender. Okay. Okay. So now Spider attacks again because it remains the attacker in the second exchange. I'm just moving the camera a little bit. There we go. So this time it strikes with a three. That's a five. Uh, she has a four um, plus zero combat. So Spider wins again. Uh, rolling for armor. She only has partial armor. So, um, it's going to hit automatically. I mean, she has light armor, so, yeah, her armor is a 1. So, it, I mean, it has to roll a 1. So, it basically penetrates her armor, and it goes straight to toughness. Oh, thank God. Jeez, it rolled a 1. So, she stunned again. Again, the spider in the third exchange is the attacker. And let's see if she could turn it in this last thing. Uh, she rolls a three. Nope. Spider rolls a six, which wins. God damn. No armor roll because she has par only light armor. She only has a, an armor of one. Okay, so uh, toughness four. She has toughness three, so yes, Spider beats her toughness 
and um oh gosh i'm definitely i'm down to three story points okay so i'm going to use that story point she uh manages to uh, be knocked back by that blow, but instead of a casualty, she is now wounded. All right, so I'm going to give her the wounded using the story point. I only have three story points left, um, and that's it. All right, so she has a wound, so I'm going to put that orange dice there just to ensure that I remember. So in the next uh, combat, uh, she is bleeding, so... She uh, gets a harm roll at plus one against her, so that's not good. All right, uh, moving on then, that is the end of the monster phase. And now we return to, uh, we go on to turn four. And we do our activation rolls. So let's clean up the table a little bit and get it going. It only has one monster point, but I've been rolling pretty bad. All right, so turn four, let's see who goes in the quick phase. All right, looks like only two characters. Everything else is over two. It's only two characters get to move in the quick phase. Um, yeah, this is bad. Let's see, I, I need to get everybody to gang up on it. Um, going to uh, give it to my girl here. She's gonna move two inches. Make sure that she gets uh, in between that gap there. Um, so she can fire. So she needs threes. We've got to kill this thing. Or it's going to end up killing us. So she barely makes it. Then she rolls an armor attack. It has armor two. And yep, she rolls a three. So she penetrates armor. It has toughness four. Come on. And she rolls a six. She rolls a six. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That takes away its monster point, and the spider is slain. Yay. Well, three characters were uh, taken out in the game. Imagine if there was more than one spider. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. Uh, this was only one spider that did uh, all this damage. So uh, let's continue to the uh, rest of the campaign turn where we figure out what happened to everyone and what kind of loot do I get. So this was the encounter portion. And uh, if you guys are curious how I made these spiders, let me know in the comments and I will have a video. There's two of them. So... Thank God there weren't two of them.